Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we'll be discussing the lack of memory on the MacBook Air and ways to get around that. Now, guys, the MacBook Air starts at $1,000, and that's going to give you a 128 gigabyte SSD with this 13 inch monitor and 4 gigs of RAM. Now to go up to 256 gigabyte SSD, it's gonna cost you 200 bucks. So you're gonna go from 1,000 to 1,200 bucks, which is pretty, pretty steep. And in my opinion, ridiculous. Uh, I really like this MacBook Air, but the storage is ridiculous. And I was looking for ways around it. Got online, did some research, um, and I kinda of want to show you some of the options. Uh, the first option, of course, is going to be a standard uh, SD card right here. And you can get these fairly cheap. And what this is actually, this is a micro SD adapter because for me, it made more sense to get a micro SD card, which I can use on my Samsung phone, uh, both in my phone and in the laptop. It's option one. Uh, the only thing about this option is that whenever you do plug it in, it is gonna stick out. As you guys can see, it does stick out pretty far, which is kind of annoying. Um, but it, it is a very cost-effective option. Um, they do have smaller ones that cost about 64 bucks for 120 gigs, and they don't stick out as much. There's a couple different brands out there. Um, the second option, of course, is going to be a standard USB. And this is a 120 gigabyte USB 3.0 that I was able to get on Black Friday for 22 bucks selling at Best Buy and you can just you know plug this in and then you can see it is it's gonna pop up but to me the winning option is this micro USB it's another USB 3.0 128 gigs and I got this on Amazon for 34 bucks in as you guys can see, I'm going to plug this in and you can see it barely sticks out. So regular USB is going to stick out pretty far. SD card is going to stick out pretty far, but this mini USB right here, is going to barely stick out. So and that again, 34 bucks. So Instead of paying Apple the $200, I paid Amazon the 34 bucks and got this shipped to me in two days. And I kind of want to just show you guys how they're, they're both here and how I've tremendously expanded this MacBook Air's memory uh, for fairly cheap. So on the USB, there's the USB stick right here and you guys can see it is 128 gigs. It actually says 136 gigs, but it's 128 gig card. And I'll pull that in there so you guys can see that. So that's this one. And this is a good option for going back and forth, but on my plan is to, on a regular basis, just keep this guy in here, which is right here. And I'll show you guys. This guy. It's 120 gigs, but it does say 124. But once again, it's going to save you tremendously. And what my plan is to do is basically to keep as much as I can archived on this USB card and pretty much keep the memory on the computer itself pretty much blank so it runs really fast. Uh, I get the perks of the MacBook Air. Uh, in the storage for a pretty affordable price and to me this is probably the best solution um paying the extra 200 bucks is pretty extreme um to be getting the same ram same processor just the extra memory it's kind of a extreme and to me that is a bad apple so no pun intended but apple come on we all know it doesn't cost you 200 bucks to, to put that memory in there and you charging 200 bucks is just super greedy uh, anyways, guys, this is a quick video on ways to be more creative. Uh, once again, option one is going to be the SD card right there. Option two is going to be a standard USB 
which is really affordable with the prices going low. And option three, which to me is the best option, is going to be this mini USB. And really, you can put two of these in here and have 256 just of USB plus the memory on the computer. But anyways, this is just a quick video on options that you can do to you know give more life to the MacBook Air in an affordable way and really convenient way because I mean you can put this in your bag and I don't think it's going to cause too much problems. Um, but if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you want to see more great videos like this, reviews, comparisons, and other general advice, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you, and have a great day.